Saka Fetz YouTube and let us make some chocolate covered strawberries. that I did I actually got the strawberries from Aldi this morning and I put it to soak for about 15 minutes in some vinegar and water very important wash it and clean it some people use baking soda and all that stuff but I prefer to put some vinegar and water in there and just let it soak for about 10 minutes turn it around and just dip it in every now and again so what I'm going to do now, I'm actually just going to transfer it onto a paper towel. You don't have to rinse it off if you don't want to. It's not really necessary and it won't taste like vinegar at all. Okay, so look at that. We got it here and I just need to drain it off on some paper towels. Now, it will probably take about half an hour to an hour on the paper towels to dry completely okay so i'm in no rush to do this i just thought let me show you guys how i wash it off in case someone has no clue on how to do this so guys my strawberries have been chilling for the past one hour or two and it's nice and dry okay now over here i have some chocolate i have quite a bit of chocolate because i wasn't really sure which one to use I know I wanted to have like a mix of um, like chocolate, which is brown and some white one as well. So I thought to myself, let me just get a mix of everything and sort of just mix it up all in one. This is my first time making this. So I don't really know which chocolate is going to work best. So I thought if I just mix them up a little bit, hopefully that should do the trick. Okay, so I've got three bowls over here that I will be using to melt the chocolate. So let's get started. And So here we have it guys, I've got a pot of boiling water and the steam from the water is going to melt this chocolate. As you can see, it started melting underneath already. Okay, so I'm just gonna keep on mixing it up until it melts fully. So guys, I think we are finally at the consistency that we want. Look at that. See, finally got there in the end after about five, six minutes. Okay, look at that. See this, my loves? Beautiful. Go ahead and put the next one to melt the white chocolate. Will take a little bit of time as well, but hey, like I told you guys, this is a little tedious process. So while this one is melting, we're just gonna go ahead and start working on what we have here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just gather the leaves at the top like so and then you just want to dip it in and just make sure to cover it give it a good spin good spin around okay beautiful and then you just want to go ahead and just place it on some baking paper Okay, I just place it on the baking paper here like so. So you just want to make sure you gather all the leaves at the top and then mix it in. See this? Give it a good swirl. A good swirl. And you need to work really fast here like so and just transfer it to somewhere else. Okay, so that's like majority of the drip is already on there. So I'll just be transferring it to the top here. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this one. 
mix it in. Give it a nice swirl. Beautiful. See this, my loves? Gorgeous. Place it down here like this. And then I'm just going to transfer that one to the top where I showed you guys. See this? And just let it drip and dry. <laughs> Just by the way it's going, I probably will not end up using the dark chocolate. I'm not really a fan of dark chocolate to be honest. I just wanted to have like, you know, a bit of a variety, but this is not necessary if you don't want to use dark chocolate, okay? I think I changed my mind last minute as well. So this is my white chocolate. Been melting for the past five minutes. It's not fully there yet. Still needs another probably minute or two. So once this is all melted, beautiful i'm just gonna take it off and then we're gonna start dipping it in so we have our white chocolate and we are gonna dip these babies in oh my goodness see just want to get a generous amount on there and then just place it here like so So I'm just on the final one now. Guys, this took a bit of time, yeah? I will not even lie to you. It actually took a bit of time to dip it in and all that stuff. Gorgeous. So we finally got there in the end finally got there in the end finally 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 just gonna put that one at the end over there beautiful and then what i'm gonna do is to just transfer these to the front okay and the reason i'm doing this is because you find majority of the drip would have already um, sort of like fell out on that side um, because I don't really like to see when the the chocolate covered strawberries have like this, you know, like this um, kind of like a shelf <laughs> at the bottom. I don't like that. So I prefer to do it that way. Okay. I prefer when it doesn't really have that round piece of chocolate at the bottom now if you don't mind it leave it it's up to you do it however you like but these are looking amazing so guys for these ones i'm gonna do like this similar design i don't really know many designs to use but we're gonna just you know try that same little design that we have going on at the top because i think it's cute all right, so start like this. Oh, look at that, guys. Oh my God, seriously, how can you do something like that? But it's fine. We can just wing it. Just wing it oh my god like <laughs> look at that that is like nearly a disaster oh my goodness but yeah we're not gonna dwell on that okay this one here this one here okay good that one is all right so that one now so for this one, 
I'll just go like that, like that. Sort of like the same design. Okay, and that one too. We can always just, you know. I also found these gold crunch um, in my cake box. So I'm just, it's actually a new pack, a new one. So I'm just going to see if I can sort of just put some of them on there like this. Just to, you know, give it a little bit of something something I'm gonna try to put some on the chocolate ones as well in the back over there so yes I think we're working with something here as they're all chilled and I will come back and show you oh well, this is how it's looking once it's all set and if you touch it, you will see that it's nice and dry. It's been in the fridge for about 15, 20 minutes. So now I'm gonna put them into these cupcake cases that I have and just show you how it looks in the end. I'm probably sweating now. So I'm gonna start by transferring the one in the back. Look at how it sets beautifully. And we are just going to sort of just try to fix the leaves at the top because remember we had to gather them so now i need to just sort of put them in something to make it look nice so i'm thinking if i should just put it in here like so just place them in here okay like that and we're going to have to mix up the chocolate ones as well Probably like one chocolate here. Oh, looking good so far. All right, guys, let me know for a first try. What do you think? Oh my goodness. This is not for the faint hearted at all. <laughs> let me know what you think for a first try. It looks really nice. I'm not only saying this because I want to bluff or boast or anything like that. I just honestly think it looks really nice. So I think it would also look really pretty if I had like some different colors as well, like red and pinks and stuff. But I think, you know, you just have to work with what you have sometimes. And yeah, just try not to be hard on yourself, to be honest with you. So yeah, first attempt, I think it went really well. So I'm going to pat myself on the back and I'm going to hope that you guys give me a really big thumbs up for trying <laughs> so yes my loves coming along really nice guys i'm so proud of myself i've never made this before i've probably said this in this video 100 times but it's because i have never made this before so i'm so happy with the way it came out and everything and uh, yeah i think I'll definitely try this again, experiment a bit more with some more colors and stuff like that. But just for like a first attempt and everything, I'm just so proud of myself. <laughs> so yes, my love, this is it. This is it. Now I'm gonna bite into one of them, one of the gold detailing ones, to just show you sort of like how it looks. Um, well, on the inside. The chocolate is not breaking apart into like one whole piece of chocolate cracking off. So that's really good. And this just tastes amazing. Like who doesn't love chocolate covered strawberries like who? So I hope you enjoyed this easy tutorial on how to make chocolate covered strawberries. If you try the recipe at all, don't forget to tag me on Instagram at Terrian's Kitchen. It is a pleasure having you here and I'll see you again in my next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.